new sex and film Miller's girl movie is out and this is not the sweet wholesome Jenna Did Ortega you Optimus know guys Prime? yes when you think of Jenna Ortega what do you think struggles <laughs> Wednesday Adams <laughs> right now <laughs> right right so of course if I'm doing that then I'm associating her with being a teenager and you know young yeah same Wednesday uh the screen movies obviously um mm -hmm. Yeah, I just equate her with being... Uh, and here's the thing. She's an actress, right? I, I don't think it should be that big of a surprise that an actress wants to do different things and play different roles. Yeah. Um, I think the problem comes when, you know, you've consistently played a teenager. <laughs> and, now, <laughs> and now we have to see you do some uh, some uh, raw dog things, you know? So, um, <laughs> yeah, what, was that? what was that movie? Yeah. that I was like, oh, she's not a teenager. What was it? Uh, with the old people. X? She was, it was the porno type situation. So yeah. Very, yeah. You know, Rich Day there. In fact, I, I equated to uh, that season of Game of Thrones when Arya, you know, had sex and everyone was just like cringing because it's like, she's been a little girl as long as we've known her. And now we're watching her, you know, lose her virginity. It, it, it was kind of jarring, you know? Well, I can't think of a better segue <laughs> in the show. This, uh, now, this footage, I'm going to tell you guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> This is from someone recording these clips from a theater in the movie theater. So it's a bootleg. So it's bootleg, but <laughs> this, 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 this lit up Twitter lit up a lot yesterday. And I was like, oh, she's gr all grown up and doing racy, trashy shit. <laughs> okay, guys. Actually, actually, technically, how old is she? Just so that we know. 21, 22. Okay, so she's still really young. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's not like 90210 where, you know, they were all in their 40s playing teenagers. You know, yeah. like she's, Correct. she's actually a <laughs> yeah. young girl. Yeah. Yeah. She's 21 years. Uh, she celebrated that last September. So, mm -hmm. yeah. There you have it. So the setup of this movie is that she is a uh, a... a protege of, of Martin Freeman's character. He's a, you know, an ex famous novelist now uh, university teacher. And she's, she's got a knack for, for the words, for the written word. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. they, you know, they have a, they have a, they have a, a bond and then it turns into something else. But um, so we, gotta, yeah. we have to watch her with this older man. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the guy that played the Bilbo Baggins. Yeah, I don't want to see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's I, listen. I'm what I'm not. What I'm showing and showing you is is light R. It's not yeah. heavy R. There's no nudity. No no oh, no titties course. hanging out. Would not do that. There's okay, no guys. Titties? Why would you bring your Polly if there was no titties? <laughs> hey, hey, we want some tetas. <laughs> Oh my God! Don't get me started. Struggle getting really good us in trouble. Uh, okay, uh, let's uh, let's bring it in. Oh, whatever. Here we go. Cigarette drops. Dramatic. Spider walks. Alice opened her mouth to say something, but the words fell away. Mr. Murphy loomed over her. His Cadillac eyes hungry and bored. I want you to read to me. Alice watched in slow motion as Mr. Murphy said, I, wa I want you to read, want you to, read, read to me. <sighs> also, kind of weird to watch Martin Freeman play this role as well. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. <sighs> well, this movie got panned. It got panned. I don't think it's going to be around uh, much longer in the theater. Yeah. Yeah. yeah King Nicky. Well, why? Why? <laughs> What is the name of this movie? Miller's Girl. He's Mr. Oh, Miller. I haven't heard yeah. a thing about it. Really? Uh the, no. we, we reacted to the trailer last month, but uh, hmm. apparently it's 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 uh, a pile of poo. So hmm. you know, we're gonna have to wait for it till it's you know streaming somewhere. Okay, here we go. Read it to me the way you read it to yourself. Jesus. Pink tied against the bone shore of his team. Alice took the tattered Henry Miller paper back off the bedside table. It's better to open on the comfort of her bed. Page 13, he said. Hey, this is happening, huh? One hand slid up the front of her cotton dress. Don't worry, 
here. This is it. This is the race here. Of this scene. Of this scene. Here. Here. Okay. <laughs> Panel. Hot news item. Jenna Ortega. Now, this is one. The next one is even more salacious. People are freaking out. Her fans are freaking out, Dante. What's going on? She's not a child. <laughs> well, that and, you know, it, it, I hate to sound like one of the, you know, but it is problematic in the way of the way things are today, right? You have this older white man, you know, who is <laughs> seducing this, you know, very, very young Latina. I, I can see well, people. Having, oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Technically, they're both. They're both, she's a Southern gal, Cairo, Cairo sweet or something like that. Really bad fantasy. This is, this is basically a, like an erotic novel come true, but no, she's not playing a Latina. But you know what I mean? I know what you mean. <laughs> it feels like some trendy to... Lolita right. stuff. Like I'm just, and I yeah. know like every, uh, you know, teen getting into adulthood, especially young actresses, they have to have that one role to break out. Be like, oh, you know, I'm not a kid anymore. But just overall, this was just cringy. It could have been anybody. <laughs> it's just really Shades of Wednesday. Fifty Shades of Wednesday. <laughs> it's just really, really cringy. And I'm not. Well, it wasn't. No. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't sexy. It wasn't. Now, are you ready for the next scene, guys? Are you ready for the yes. next one, guys? Yeah, it was more creepy than sexy, but... <laughs> it was pretty creepy, guys. It was pretty creepy. Here we go. Ready? French. Full French, guys. Really Jenna Holly, Ortega. You were getting your life? <laughs> you know, when Wednesday Adams grew up. <laughs> I don't know. This doesn't do anything special for me. Like, this is, I don't know. I'm like way beyond. I think, I think we're way beyond, you know, these like, oh my God, this is so risky. Like, I don't, I don't know why her fans are in an uproar. This is, you know, regular stuff now for like, oh, I'm just trying right. to break out. I'm out of keen. I'm kissing this girl on girl and I'm, you know, laid up with this older bachelor. I don't know. Like, it's just not anything impressive to me. Like, this is, it's fine to me. Okay. It's yeah, crazy. I mean, if, if they're doing it for shock value, I, I, yeah. I think they, they've missed the mark. Um, yeah. It was shocking, you know, back in the day, you know, during like, a, you know, what was that movie, Cruel Intentions, when Sarah Michelle Gellar yeah. was kissing, uh, what's her name? You know, I mean, that that was controversial because it was, you know, the early, it was like the mid 90s or late 90s. Mm -hmm. This stuff mm -hmm. now is commonplace, man. You see this on, uh, you see this on Riverdale every week. Right. Yes, Riverdale. Exactly. I have to say, I think I, I think it's interesting that uh, Chris Gore is in the is in the chat from Film Club because <laughs> this character kind of looks like Chris Gore. It's just uh, it's kind of I'm kind of creeped out right now. Just just saying, man. Just saying. But nice to have you here. Yeah. Was this supposed so, to be risky, like pushing boundaries? Was, I'm, what I, is the uproar for? Because people see her as a child star. I think they see her still as, you know, like an okay. innocente, you know. Yeah, like this is probably okay. the most risque. But it's, I mean, to me, her role in X was. She, I would say she did X before this. I'm not <laughs> understanding. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. yeah, it's. Which was done great. This is just bad. This is just bad. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly, King. I have no problems with what she's doing in the movie, but they're just not good scenes. Yeah, but the thing not... is, X, X was before Wednesday, I believe. So, you know, people mm -hmm. had, a, you know, they got used to seeing her as a schoolgirl. Well, not everyone saw X either. Mm. True. Everyone's seen Wednesday. Right. Everyone's seen Wednesday. I, 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 it could be. I, I think it was a, a I, it could be. I think it, I think the story behind the script is that it's been around for a while and people are wanting to do it. And here you go. Hmm. yeah it's kind of weird man like and you know not changing the subject too much but it's just there's always these these movies or these scripts that float around hollywood for years mm -hmm. that several people have tried to touch and couldn't break it and what's funny is usually when, when they finally make this movie it's never as good <laughs> it's like it's like years wasted for the script that wasn't even that good 
Yeah. I'm like Nikki. I'm more interested. I want to know why the spider's there. That's 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 the only thing piqued my interest. What is the spider yeah. there? Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that's kind of weird. But obviously, <laughs> there's there's probably a spider motif in the film. Mm. Right? Like, there's a lot of shots of her walking in the forest to school. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. We've, we've seen like every single Disney baby, you know, Miley yeah. Cyrus, you know, all of these girls come out of these young roles wanting to present a new image. You know, they want to be sexier. They want to be edgier. They want to be. Uh, so this is really nothing new. Not at all. But the bow, the little Lolita look of her in the mm -hmm. the scene is not helping. They, they, she looks like a child automatically, like by default with the bow in the hair. But yeah. Jenna's scenes and X were pretty clean. They were the cleanest. I mean, she she did keep her, I believe, in the scene and what we saw. She kept her her bra. I mean, compared to the other actresses, I was so dirtied up by that. That was a great character. She had the best character. I kind of was bummed out that they killed her. Yeah, I thought she was gonna make it. Spoilers, man. Oh, I mean, you know, but um, I do gotta, I do want to say, Jenna. At least swings. I, I mean, <laughs> really, from the scene you showed us, she swings. We got it, Polly. No, she's taking risks with her career and uh, mm -hmm. X, and mo you know, most of them are working. That's not work. This movie's not working, which is why it's like coming and going. But and you do have to appreciate uh, an actor who's willing to take a swing, man. I